Hi everyone, for what values of x does our series converge absolutely and or conditionally? We're also going to find the interval of convergence. We're going to use the ratio uh, test and that means if the limit as n approaches infinity of absolute value of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n equals l, we force it to equal uh, less than 1. So basically, uh, let's look at this. Um, we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity. This is your a sub n here. So um, this part here, we're going to do the uh, absolute value of x to the power of n plus 1. We're doing this part first. Divide it by n plus 1 times the square root of n plus 1 times 3 to the power of n plus 1. Alright, and then we're dividing by a sub n, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's going to be n times square root of n times 3 to the power of n, all divided by absolute value of x to the power of n. Alright, let's uh, simplify all of this. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity, absolute value of x to the power of n times absolute value of x divided by absolute value of x to the power of n. So I took care of these two pieces. Now for our n, this is just going to be n divided by n plus 1. And then uh, for our square root, we have the square root of n divided by square root of n plus 1. And then for our 3 to the power of n, this is going to be 3 to the power of n divided by 3 to the power of n times 3. Now simplifying this, um, these two cancel. Um, and these two cancel. This, uh, when you take the limit of this, you're going to get um, 1 here and a 1 here. So basically you can get the limit as n approaches infinity. Uh, since these are the same, you could write it as n divided by n plus 1 to the power of 3 halves. Since we have both of those, pull this out. Uh, absolute value of x divided by 3. All right. Now this, like I said, this just goes to 1. Our degrees are the same here. So our answer is absolute value of x divided by 3. Uh, we're going to uh, let that be less than 1. And you cross multiply and you get absolute value of x is less than 3. For it to converge uh, absolutely. Uh, so this is uh, converging. Uh, and for it to diverge, it would be uh, absolute value of x is greater than 3. So we want uh, absolute convergence here. And let's write our interval out. So if you have the absolute value of x is less than 3, by definition that means x is uh, less than 3, but greater than negative 3. So we have to test our endpoints here at x equals uh, 3 and negative 3. So basically we can just do plus or minus 3 here because we have the uh, absolute value of x to the power of n. This is the sum. Let me, um, as n equals uh, 1 to infinity uh, divided by n times square root of n times 3 to the power of n. Again, we're testing at uh, x equals plus or minus 3. Now what happens is we take the absolute value of plus or minus 3, you're just going to get the sum of n equals 1 to infinity, the absolute value of plus or minus 3 to the power of n um, times, this is n to the uh, 3 halves, and this is 3 to the n. Well, these two cancel for both because absolute value of negative 3 is also. So basically we get the sum n equals 1 to infinity of 1 divided by n to the power of 3 halves. 
Now this is your P series. Uh, P equals uh, 3 halves, which is greater than 1. So it is convergent, and therefore um, our series is absolutely convergent on negative 3 to 3. And the interval of convergence is uh, uh, also negative 3 to 3. And there's no conditional convergence. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.